Uh, Sam, if we can just start with the, the vile and abhorrent abuse that Remain Sawyers has received recently. Can I just ask you what the club are doing to support Remain and also if you've had a chance to speak to him and check if he's OK? Uh, well, I, I shall be speaking to him more, uh, more today regarding that situation. I think that um, the club has obviously moved forward very, very quickly in terms of uh, uh, showing the, you know, that we do not accept any, any form of uh, racism on any social media or any level, anywhere. Um, I think everybody's moving forward in that direction, but it's just a massive problem that uh, somebody on social media sites can just put out whatever they feel uh, they can put out. We, uh, we can strongly uh, disagree with it. We want it to be cut out. And Remain will always have our support and, um, and he needs to, uh, I think, contact the, the police, which I think he's done, and contact the PFA uh, and, see, and see what the, the way forward is. I think I heard today um, on Talk Sport, um, a PFA representative, uh, I think it was Jason Lee, saying that uh, they're going to encourage players to take legal action. Um, whether that's the right thing to do, who knows? But if it gets it stopped, yes. But I do think that, you know, it's something that is not going to go away unless stronger punishments are put in place. I was just going to ask, how important is it to keep fighting against all forms of discrimination? Well, I, I've always felt that uh, football over many, many years um, has got better and better. We can always do better, of course, but we're, we're still all supporting um, the way forward now. Um, continuously, where where we go from here, um, I, I am not qualified in that department to know what the next steps are. Uh, but certainly, we're all trying to improve and make people more aware of uh, our social interactions together. And we should all uh, try to come together, uh, you know, as a country that is multiracial now. So, you know. It's who they are as a person, whether you choose to get on with them or not, or what they are, not what, what colour they might be or what religion they might have. It's about whether you, you, you can get on or not, and if you do, that's great. We're edging closer to the end of the month and obviously the end of the, the transfer window, Sam. How hopeful are you that you'll be able to see some new faces through the door? Well, we should complete one today, and I think that uh, we were th very close, I thought, to completing a... Um, a domestic loan, uh, but that looks like it um, may have slipped away. And uh, certainly, we have one more loan available from from abroad, which we'll try and secure before Monday. It's obviously a very busy time at the moment. We've got a huge game against Fulham coming up on Saturday here at the Hawthorns. How has preparation gone for that? Well, of course, between Manchester City and here, there's been um, uh, not a lot of time, and then there's a there's the there's a recovery for the players that's the key factor, recovery physically and, and recovery mentally. So there's not been a, a huge amount of action uh, on the training ground because we cannot expend too much energy on the training ground because we need every ounce of energy for tomorrow's game against Fulham. So we've got to be very acute and very aware tactically today on how we set our tactics out here at the Hawthorns on the pitch where they're going to play tomorrow, to try and beat Fulham and, and try and put the fact to bed that we thought we've been finding it difficult to win on our home turf. And uh, we've got to try and put that right in, in such a big game that we're playing tomorrow. It's a six-pointer, everybody knows that. And we want to come out of the game tomorrow, hopefully with three points. But um, as ever, I'll tell everybody that, you know, don't chase a game, don't do... Don't go out the way we, we need to try and play. That's set out to, to expose the opposition, to play to our strengths. Don't, loo don't lose your focus. And if you don't lose your focus and you play to your best, then we'll have an opportunity to beat Fulham. And uh, if we don't beat them, we've got to make sure that we don't lose. And uh, I've been preaching that ever since I arrived. We haven't managed to crack it. Uh, only a result against Liverpool and a big result against Wolves. Um, we were close against West Ham, but the rest of the time we've been far from as resilient as we should be, let far too many goals in and 
lo losing our concentration in certain areas of the game, which has cost us dearly. And, uh, and those are the factors I have to continue to work on by saying any, any form of mistake in the Premier League by you as a team is punished, punished to its ultimate in this league at this level. So you have to cut those basic errors out and continue to perform at the highest level you can for at certainly at 85, 90, 95 percent of your best. And just finally, Sam, is there any injury concerns or fitness boosts that you can let the fans know about before? Fight? I think that uh, uh, there was a knock to Snodgrass's knee, but I think that's OK. Um, uh, and I think that uh, Gr Grady's uh, back in training, I don't think, um, it, probably back in the squad, um, but probably won't start. And I think that uh, uh, Granty came through 60 minutes after his, uh, his fractured foot, uh, uh, but he's OK.